Piers Morgan has come under fire for leaping to the defense of Lord Sugar after he was branded racist for a tweet he posted on Wednesday. The Apprentice star was forced to apologize after sparking a backlash when he shared a photo of the Senegal football team, likening them to beach salads. Sugar in Italy refused to apologize for the tweet, claiming he thought people's reactions were odd, but later removed the post and said he was very sorry for the joke which he said had been misinterpreted. As conversation about Sugar's tweet continued, Piers waded into the row to insist his friend is not a racist. He wrote, I've known at Lord. Sugar for 25 years. He can be a half-wit of biblical proportions, and prone to terrible jokes, as we saw today. He's not a racist. I've known at Lord. Sugar for 25 years. He can be a half-wit of biblical proportions, and prone to terrible jokes, as we saw today. He's not a racist. Piers Morgan, at Piers Morgan, June 20, 2018 But Piers then found himself on the receiving end of a backlash for defending Sugar, with many of his followers explaining why the tweet was offensive. This was your chance to gain credibility by standing up for what's right. Sadly you bottled it because he is your friend. Saying nothing at all would have been the better choice at Piers Morgan than jumping to his defense. Jeff at Jeff Her, June 20, 2018 So all sellers on the beach in Marbella wear Senegal's national football team uniform. Or did he really recognize the individual players? Or just made a tweet about how all black people look the same and all they do is selling stuff in Marbella? Tell me was the joke, please. Victoria Strain at Belfast Vic, June 20, 2018 You need to question why he thought it appropriate to associate a black football team playing in the World Cup with those men he encountered selling sunglasses on the beach. It's so obvious and condescending, unamused, Michael Brown, at Boogie Brown 43, June 20, 2018 AWH Pierce is sticking up for his mate. We weren't expecting any different. If this was at Lily Allen you were asking for her head, Monaco. Franks, at Monaco underscore Franks, June 20, 2018 Yes, but he is guilty of being epically out of touch there Morgan He is a member of the Lords and show how out of touch he is She's called Labour leadership out for its anti-Semitism Then tweets this he's an employee of the BBC It's not acceptable Ryan, at Therialian 1987, June 20, 2018 I don't think you can determine who is a racist or not Because you don't know how racism feels like Grace, at Gracie E's 95, June 21, 2018 Love how you give the benefit of the doubt to friends, but those you hardly know, are tried and convicted in your inner justice system, before all facts are known. Bradley Wiggins, Paul Woods, at Eniluap, June 20, 2018 Any joke being made about color, culture, disability, sexuality or religion is not acceptable. People face abuse daily due to any of the above. GEMSLB, at Gemspile, June 20, 2018 You also think Donald Trump is a good guy, says a lot for your opinion of people, Jan Cossens, at Jank Cossens, June 21, 2018 You ought to know what a racist tweet looks like. I don't trust your judgment. P.S. The tweet was racist. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash erzalpsville has b at Taran Barrett June 20th 2018 funny how you gave Eric Bristow a hard time for a tweet and now you're defending exactly the same thing. Jordan Air 1890 at Jordan Air June 20th 2018 the BBC had faced calls to fire Lord Sugar from his role on The Apprentice amid the scandal but the corporation stood by. Him, in a statement, an official spokesperson said, Lord Sugar has acknowledged this was a seriously misjudged tweet, and he's in no doubt about our view on this. It's right he's apologized unreservedly. This is far from the first time Sugar has posted offensive tweets that have caused controversy. Back in March, he was condemned for posting a Jeremy Corbyn meme likening him to a Nazi. 
He originally brushed off criticism telling one person who called the meme completely disgraceful to simply shut up but eventually issued a full apology after being called out by Labour MP John McDonnell.